Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Kira204 here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the USS Spruance DD-963. USS Spruance was the lead ship of the United States Navy Spruance class of destroyers. It was named after Admiral Merriman A. Spruance. Spruance was built by the Ingalls Shipbuilding Division of Lytton Industries at Pasagola, Mississippi and launched by Mrs. Raymond A. Spruance. Spruance served in the U.S. Atlantic Fleet assigned to Destroyer Squadron 24 operating out of Naval Station Mayport, Florida. Spruance was decommissioned on March 23, 2005 and was sunk as a target on December 8, 2006. The Spruance class of destroyers were really regarded as one of the first successful anti-submarine and anti-ship um, destroyers uh, produced by the uh, U.S. Navy. They uh, were basically the predecessor to what we currently have now as the Arleigh Burke and really just kind of helped uh, continue to pave that way for naval innovation. Uh, the Spruance here, obviously a really cool build and one that's going to be a perfect addition if you're looking for a kind of fleet uh Cold War, maybe I guess early modern warfare uh, type of ship. Um, the Spruance, again, seeing quite a lengthy service time from being in service from the uh, mid 1970s all the way to um, 2005, which is pretty good for a Navy destroyer. Um, but before we go ahead and take a look at this build, I do want to go ahead and give a big thanks to uh, Derek Frost Wilsberg for commissioning this build. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, definitely feel free to uh, reach out to me through my email, garrett 24 gmail.com or my uh, Discord, where you can go ahead and we can discuss pricing and all that stuff. Uh, but you can commission a build, and I definitely uh, would recommend it if you're trying to get a build uh, built uh, that you really, 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 really want to see. So uh, with that, though, let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look at the USS Spruance. So starting off with the Spruance here, uh, pretty straightforward. We have the bow of the ship, we have the five-inch gun, and then we have our first kind of rocket launching system. We then have our uh, bridge followed by our phalanx uh our sea whiz system located up on top there uh we then have our forward mass our first funnel located in the midship section and then we have our two um launchers uh here anti-ship missiles or something of that sort then we have our uh rear mass again nothing too fancy with it um then we have our funnel uh, over here on our second funnel on the back uh right above where we have our um helicopter bay or our helicopter uh, hangar where you can they could store their helicopter we then have the uh, back of the ship which has an air launcher and another five inch gun so uh, pretty interesting stuff that's pretty much uh, the general gist of the spruance it's a really simplistic ship and kind of keeping with the uh, you know modern ships just kind of being more and more simplistic um, over time but yeah, that right there is pretty much it for the overview. And let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our tutorial, we'll be going ahead and starting with our first two layers here, which will be layers one and two. Layer one is really just that bulbous bow on the front of the ship. So honestly, it's pretty straightforward, just a couple blocks. And uh, we'll just go ahead and combine it with, um, you know, our, fir our first, uh, just layer two, honestly. Um, so that's what we're doing there. Um, but before we go ahead and jump in the tutorial, I do want to go ahead and mention that if you do plan on building this in the water, you do want to make sure you position this at a certain height. Layer two here is going to be sitting at this level. So you can see um, we have the blue concrete representing that water level. And that is where layer two is going to sit right in line with that level. After that's done though, uh, and you have that squared away, we're going to have a red concrete block and replace down one nether brick wall forward. We're going to go ahead and go back from the red concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 to 1, 22, or one less, so it's going to be uh, 21 red concrete blocks back. We're going to go ahead and then place down a upside down set of two pistons, just like that, and then we want to go ahead and place down a line of two of red nether brick top slabs, and then two acacia wood trap doors down the center, uh, or sorry, three acacia wood trap doors down the center. To the sides here, we're going to place down a red nether brick wall. And then we want to place down a red stained glass pane going forward from those red and their brick walls. Also, uh, an alternative to the pistons here can be the addition of probably just honestly, I would just do probably a red concrete block and then a red and other brick top slab. So again, this right here would be the alternative to pistons. Uh, just note that if you have the ship in the water, the pistons aren't going to really work too well because they won't be able to work with how we're going to uh, alter their properties. Um, and in addition, if you are not on Java, uh, you will not be able to place down... Um, uh, these or you'll not be able to use the tool we're using later. So just keep that in mind going forward um, with that. Anyways, come off this block right here. We're going to place down a red nether brick top slab to both sides. And we want to go and then take our 
lightning rods. They're going to place down a row of lightning rods going forward. This should be about a row of three. Then we're just going to place down a birchwood slab on the ends here to go ahead and complete the propeller um, props. Um, with that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick top slab to both sides. And then we want to go ahead and take our red nether brick stairs. We're going to build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 red nether brick stairs forward, three red stained glass panes. And then we're going to place down a acacia wood trap door here on the side of this block. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. So just like this. And uh, we're going to again take this all the way down like that. And then once we have that all done, we're going to go ahead and go to our front of our ship here and we're going to place down, you can either place down a red nether brick top slab on the second block and then two polished black stone top slabs. Um, however, if you are on Java and you don't have the ship in the water, I'd recommend probably placing down two upside down pistons here instead. And around these two blocks here, we're just going to go ahead and take our dark oak signs and just wrap them around the blocks like this for the front up here. And once you have that all done there, we can go ahead and then just take our um, debug stick. So this can be obtained by typing the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So this command here, press enter, we'll give you this glowing stick and we can go ahead and go to these pistons, left click till we get selected, extend false, and then right click them like that and we'll do them for the front and the front only. Um, anyways though, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer 1 and 2. Here's a top down view of what that should look like. And uh, actually one quick thing here we're going to go ahead and add is we're going to go ahead and go to our 1, 2, 3, 4, our 5th stair. We're going to place down an acacia wood trap door to the side and then, or sorry, acacia wood sign, sorry. And then a second, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 total signs along the side there. And that's going to basically complete everything we have there. So again, that's it for layers 1 and 2. And with that, let's move on to layer number 3. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to get started with here, we're gonna place down a stone block on top of this wall, and then we're gonna place down a andesite wall going forward from it like that. We then wanna place down one, two, three, four, five stone blocks back, and then an andesite wall to both sides. We're gonna go ahead and place down two light gray stained glass panes going forward from that wall, and then we're gonna place down an iron trap door to the sides here like that. Now using our debug stick that we used earlier, for my Java players, we're gonna left click this iron trap door till we get selected open false, right click it, set it to true, and it'll close the trap door on the sides. Um, you can also use a birchwood trap door as an alternative, but the iron trap door is gonna be your best um, your best bet. Going back from these walls, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 stone blocks back. So go ahead and double check the count here. And it's gonna be a long row all the way along the side here. Again, 24 blocks. Then we wanna place down a birch wood button on the back here and then two iron bars. We're gonna place down a stone block across the back here and then we're gonna do another row of stone all the way to connect our sides together. So just like that. The inside here, we can go ahead and fill in with gray wool. And then of course on the back here we're going to do the same thing we did on the air side, so a virtual button and our two iron bars like that. And that there is going to complete everything we have for layer number three for the build. And with that we'll be moving on to layer number four. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four we're going to start off by placing down a stone block on top of this wall and then another inner side wall going forward. We're going to build back one, two, three stone blocks. Like race stainless panes on the sides of these two blocks. And then we want to go ahead and place down one, two, three gray wool down the center and then two andesite walls again to the sides as well as a stone block. We're going to go ahead and go back from the stone block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and over here same thing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're going to fill in the inside in here with gray wool all the way down the center and then we want to go ahead and then place down an additional 1, 2, 3 gray wool blocks down the center here, and the set walls to both sides, and then a stone block, like race stain was painted both sides. We're gonna go ahead and then take our deep slate tile slabs, we're gonna place down a row of three, and then one slab to both sides. We'll follow this up with an anvil in the center, and then another deep slate slab there directly in the center like that. We're also gonna place down a skeleton skull at about a 45 degree angle there in the corners like so. 
And also, I'm going to go ahead and take a birch wood sign, and I'm going to put birch wood signs along the side here of these slabs. So just like that to both sides there. After that is all done, uh, on the very back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall, and then an end rod, which is going to come off the stone brick wall like that. We also want to go ahead and place down an end rod that's going to be on top of this stone block. And then going back from it, we're going to place down an iron bar that's going to kind of go up and back like that for this little rear um, pole here. Then we just want to take our gray carpet and we're going to place down one, two, three, and one, two, three, just like that. Now, if you're on Java, we can also go ahead and modify this wall to be a little bit cooler for the five inch gun. For this, we're going to go ahead and change the properties of the directions, and you may have to mess around with this a little bit. But the side of the wall that's facing toward this end rod, we're going to take our debug stick and we're going to left click it to low. And the side that's facing away from it, we're going to go ahead and set to high. As you can see, it kind of creates a better like shape there for that five inch gun. And that is going to be located on the back there of the ship for our rear five inch gun. With that though, that's going to wrap up everything we have for layer number four of the build. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number five. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to start with, we're going to place down an end rod on top of this wall here. And we're going to go ahead and place down an iron bar that goes up from it like so. We then want to go ahead and place down two daylight detectors, turn those to that night mode. And we're going to go ahead and also place down an iron trap door directly behind it. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall right here. And we're going to go ahead and follow it up with a end rod coming off of it going forward like that. Uh, we then also want to go ahead and take our gray carpet. We're going to place down two gray carpets like this to the side, two here, one in the middle, and then again one to both sides there. And in this middle space here, we're going to place down an anvil. Again, same thing we did for the rear gun. We can go ahead and do the same to this forward gun. So again, the side closest to the end rod is going to be low. The side away from it is going to be high. We're going to go ahead and place down two rows of three of stone. And then we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stone blocks down the center here. To the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down andesite walls. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 andesite walls. And over here, same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On that first uh, wall, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame and a white bed. We're going to place down an item frame and a white bed in the item frame like so. And the same thing is going to be done over here on the other side. Uh, we'll also take a birchwood sign. And if you're on Java, we can place down a birchwood sign sideways on the side of this stone or this inside wall to go ahead and create that, ef that effect there. After that, we, we want to go ahead and then place down a light gray sting west pane. That's going to be on both sides here. And then we're going to place down a gray carpet as well to each side. At this point here, we're going to place down a line of two of these birchwood fence gates, which we are going to open up away from the middle of the ship. So like that. And underneath these, I went ahead and placed down item frames. Again, these are going to be more of a Java feature here, but I went ahead and placed down item frames underneath the fence gates, and I put gray stained glass panes in the item frames just to kind of help blend it in with the ship a little bit more. You could also do the same thing up here on the front underneath this... Uh, this uh, end rod there for the gun, you could do the same thing up there as well if you are wanting to uh, blend in the deck in a little bit more with the ship. We then want to place down two stone blocks on both sides and then a birchwood fence gate again opened up to the sides in those corners with a birchwood sign on the side of those, um, of those blocks. Then on the very back here for our landing pad, we're going to place down a row three of gray carpet, a white carpet in the center, and then gray carpet on both sides. Another row three of gray carpet and then one gray carpet on that stone block. We're also going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector, turn to that night mode on top of this anvil. So just like that. Once we have that all done right there, that is going to complete everything we have for layer number uh, five of the build. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number six. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and start with, we're going to place down a stone block here and then an andesite wall to both sides. We then want to place down item frames in a row three across. Black beds in the item frames rotated sideways. And we're going to go ahead and then place down birchwood signs on these sides here. Again, if you're on Java. And then also on the sides of these walls, we're going to place down birchwood signs for all versions. After that, we want to go ahead and place down another stone block in the center. A light gray stingless, or rather, sorry, a light gray stingless paint to both sides. And then we want to go ahead and place down a row of gray wool. So this will be one, two, three. Uh, gray wool blocks and then a stone block on the sides here of the gray wool We're gonna place down one two three and side walls and over here one two three and side walls Which will be followed up with a stone upside down stair 
on both sides here. We're going to go ahead and place down two item frames with flight beds in those item frames rotated sideways. And again, just like we did before, we're going to place down birchwood signs on the side of them if you're on Java. So just like this. And then after that, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, smooth stone slab here and then a uh, top slab to both sides for this rocket launcher system here in the middle. Then we're going to place down a gray carpet and we want to go ahead and then place down an additional one, two, three stone blocks back. Uh, this section here, we're going to place down a row of three of stone all the way across. This is going to be followed with a second row of three and then one stone or and then a third row of three across. We're also going to go and take our light gray banners and we're just going to place down a row of three light gray banners across the rear there. After that's all done, that's going to wrap up everything we have there for that. And to finish this off, we're just going to go ahead and place down a black bed on top of these fence gates here to both sides. Uh, with that though, that's going to wrap up everything we have here for layer number six. And with that, we'll move on to layer number seven. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number seven. Layer number seven here is going to be a pretty straightforward layer. Um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to place down a diorite wall on top of this wall right here. If you're on Java and only if you're on Java, we're going to place down a stone block in front of the wall with a space of one. We're going to place down a tripwire hook in this space and then taking our debug stick, we're going to left click this uh, tripwire hook and rotate it around to connect up to that wall. Again, that's going to only be a Java feature and unfortunately there is no really good alternative if you're not on Java. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a, a gray carpet. It's going to be right next to this and then we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod um, after that. After that end rod, we're going to go ahead and also place down a birchwood fence post like this and a fence gate like that opened up toward the fence post on both sides. In the very middle here, we want to go ahead and place down a deep slate tile slab and then a birchwood sign to the two sides of it. We're going to go ahead and then place down two andesite walls and then over here on this side, we're going to place down two stone full blocks. So one, two, like that. Then uh, after that is done, we're going to go ahead and then skip back to this section here. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate and open up toward the front. And then a birchwood fence gate here, which we're also going to open up toward the front of the ship as well. Um, underneath those, uh, for again on being on Java, we can place down our item frames. And we can go ahead and place down our gray stained glass panes. Um, so just like that, underneath them. Then we're going to place down a gray carpet right here. We're going to go ahead and place down two andesite walls, two stone blocks, and then we want to place down a uh, diorite wall here to the side. We're going to use the same technique we did before, just build a block out to the side from this, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a tripwire hook, which is going to be on the side of this block, and we're just going to go ahead and rotate around to connect up to this wall, just like that. Going ahead and continuing on the back here, we want to go ahead and also place down a gray wool block that's going to go underneath this andesite wall here. After that, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a redstone repeater in the corner and separate the notches from each other like so, and then gray carpet in these two spots. We're also going to place down a piston here, uh, which we're going to go ahead and then use our debug stick on to go ahead and get rid of that wood portion, so just give it a nice little right click like we've done before. You can also substitute this out for a uh, deep slate tile slab, which can go right here, and then I would put, I would put birchwood signs around it on the side here. Um, so that's also an option there for you guys. And then we're just going to take our levers and we're going to place down two levers here to the right side. Um, and then lastly, uh, we want to place down a flower pot that's going to be on this stone upstairs stair there. Uh, with that out of the way though, that's going to wrap up everything we have for layer 7. And with that, we'll move into our last final layers here of the build. Moving into our last final layers here, we have layers 8 through 13. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate on top of this uh, end rod here. And we're going to go ahead and then open that fence gate up toward the front. We then want to place down another brick fence post on top of this one here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak fence gate on these two sides of this fence post. We're going to place down another fence post that goes up like this, followed by again a dark oak fence gate to both sides. And we also want to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone stair on this uh, fence gate here in the front. Coming off that, we're going to go ahead and place down a dragon head that is going to be placed down like this so the kind of snout is facing toward the head like so or toward the stair we're gonna go ahead and place down another nether brick fence post up and a dark oak wood trap door to both sides of that fence post like that and we're gonna go ahead and place down an iron bar on top of this uh, stair here and we can go ahead and place down one more iron bar out to both sides like that uh, going back from this we're gonna go ahead and place down two dark oak wood fence gates 
like so and then open these up toward that nether brick fence post and then continuing on up we're going to place down a nether brick fence post again and then a end rod to both sides and a wither skeleton skull on the front here we're going to place down a nether brick fence post up again this time with a iron bar on each of these end rods and then an end rod on top there to go ahead and finish off your forward mass with that done we want to go ahead and then place down a stack of four uh, flower pots around here uh, on top there for your funnels and we're going to go ahead and place down two iron bars up from this rear uh, flower pot and then we're going to place down two chains up on the other side there. After that, go into this section here, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak with fence gates, we're going to place down one, two, and three like this and we're going to go ahead and open these up toward the front of the ship. We're going to place down a narrow brick fence post on top of this fence gate here and then a polished blackstone upside down stair. After that uh, stair there, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like so and one two and three another brick fence posts up like so uh we're gonna go ahead and then place down a uh, flower pot that's gonna be on the very top here like that and then we want to go ahead and place down a end rod to the sides here of this fence post and then we're gonna place down a chain on top of those end rods after that's all done uh we want to go ahead and then place down a line of three of iron trap doors or sorry iron bars on top of this fence gate here on the back and that's going to create your rear mass last thing for us to do is to go ahead and place down two nether brick fence posts on top of these uh two uh levers here we're going to go ahead and place down two iron bars up like that for antenna and then two chains up for another antenna and then we're going to go ahead and take our flower pots and we're going to go ahead and place down flower pots kind of in a two by two square there for our rear funnel after that's all done though that's going to complete everything we have for layers 8 through 13 and with that that's going to complete my tutorial here for the uss spruance spruance class destroyer hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use if you do abuse this build i do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it this can be anything from a side of the build tweet to my channel or this video if this does appreciate social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for it you are free to use it for projects you guys are working on and all that fun stuff with that though, uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Garrett 204, and I will see you guys next time.